Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, happy Tuesday. Welcome to our slow flow class. I am so glad to be here with you today. So you may have heard the term, how you do anything is how you do everything. Uh, and if you haven't heard the term, um, that's okay, because actually it's kind of new to me as well. But today's practice um, is going to be about really connecting into our movements and just trying to see how we're feeling as we're in our movements. And whatever we do typically on the mat is how we kind of translate that in our lives. So our mat is like a, a learning space for us to try to delve into ourselves with deeper curiosity about our samskaras, our habits. And we kind of have this time for self-reflection on the mat. So it's a really powerful place for us to just kind of check in with ourselves and see what are we doing on the mat versus what are we doing off the mat? Are we taking some of those samskaras and habits with us off the mat. So maybe that busyness, maybe that rumination of the mind, maybe that kind of um, unsettled space. So as we find our practice today, I want you to take a moment in each of our poses today to see are you just kind of trying to get through the pose or are you try to be in the pose kind of just try to take a look at what you're bringing to the mat today because what we do on the mat often translates to how we are off the mat so i'd like you to begin today if it feels comfortable for you on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat to the floor if you're taking care of your backs today, please feel free to find a constructive rest pose whereby your feet are wide, about as wide as the mat, and your knees are knocked together. If neither of those feet work and you want to sit up, that's absolutely fine. Go ahead and find whatever position works for you. You're also welcome to take a yoga, blo um, a yoga block or your bolster and set it underneath your knees. As we take a moment just to settle into our positioning here, noticing our body connecting down into the floor, noticing the feet resting down to the floor, the low back, the upper back, the shoulders, the back of the head. I want you to imagine this idea of someone rushing into the room who's late for class. And they come in in this furried space, throw down their mat, plop onto their mat with a big sigh. <sighs> Do you want that energy in the room? You want to let go of any sort of feeling that we have to be rushed in this space. So just coming to your mat today centering your attention, calming the body, calming the breath, calming the mind. And unlike our, our fellow yogi, who I hope will, <laughs> in our vision, calm down, take yourself into that space, that space where you can just bring that ease, that calm, that harmony, that peace. And the idea of how we do anything is how we do everything is really powerful because when we're in a frenzied space and we continue in our day in frenzied kind of manners or, or, or ways of being, our day feels really chaotic unsettled, ungrounded. But if we begin our day settled and calm, in a sense of groundedness and peace, we continue on with our day in that way. We do things with a bit more groundedness, more calm, more clarity, more centeredness, more presence. So let's begin to notice our breath entering and leaving the body, breathing into the nose, down to the belly. 
breathing out from the belly, maybe out of the nose, or maybe you need a sigh out of the mouth. It's kind of tuning in to what works best for you today. Keep the space between the brows soft, the forehead soft, the ears soft. Notice if your shoulders are inching towards your ears, let them drift away from the ears and melt down towards the floor. And I want you to imagine your breath like a, a beautiful white light that comes into your body. Nourishing, harvesting, supporting you. Filling your muscles, filling your lungs with all the good things that the breath offers. And then think of your exhale as that opportunity to release anything that does not serve you. Maybe it's a thought. Maybe it's a situation. Maybe it's feelings in the body. Take those exhales and release those tensions. Soften your throat. I'd like us to set our intentions for our practice today. Your intention can be an I am statement, a sense of presence. It could be a mantra, a string of words that you repeat to yourself. It could be a single word that resonates with you. Let the mantra, let the intention, let the word be positive in nature, something that nourishes you and lifts you up, that supports your well-being. And when you're ready, maybe keep the eyes closed just for an extra few moments. If your knees are bent and your feet are wide, Go ahead and open the knees. Your feet are not so wide. Maybe bring them as wide as your mat. We're just gonna gently windshield wiper the knees in and out. Just allowing yourself to flow from one side to the other, gently lifting up the pelvis just a little bit as you rotate from one to the other. As we start to move our body, take special attention to notice any movements of the mind or movements of words that spring to mind as you're moving into your body here. Taking a moment to breathe in and to breathe out. And each time words that come into the body that don't serve you, let us take our attention back to that sense of peace and calm, that sense of awareness of being in the body, that sense of compassion and kindness and gentleness. Take our attention back to our breath. And as you're ready, we'll slowly make our way back in towards center. Toe healing the feet so that your feet are hip distance apart. Knees, hips, and ankles nicely aligned. Heels drawing a little closer towards our glutes as we move into some flowing bridges. Pressing into the heels, engaging through the glutes, and starting to lift the torso, softening through the body finding whatever range works best for your body and then slowly exhaling allowing yourself to gently come down to the floor just allowing yourself to flow from one to the other deep connected slow breaths 
noticing the physical body, softening the body into the ground as you release it down. Let your body melt into the mat, feeling heavy, but yet soft all at the same time. And that heaviness is almost like a sense of release. Just letting your body rest to the mat, imprinting your body into the earth. Continue to breathe in and to breathe out. And just feel into the body. If at any time it starts to become too much, take a break. Listen to that. Let's do two more. Beautiful. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and set your sacrum back down to the floor. And let's go ahead and extend our right leg and then our left leg. Extending them long to the base of the mat. Breathing in and extending the arms overhead. Now, if reaching the arms overhead does not feel good for your shoulders, let them rest at the side of your body. And as you're going to reach, I want you to imagine you're growing tall, 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 tall. Fingertips to toe, lengthen through the spine. Feel that reach, feeling that opportunity to extend through the vertebrae. And then gently release the hands back to the side, pulling in the right knee in towards your heart. Maybe interlacing the fingers to the front of the knee. Perhaps giving your ankle a little rotation here. Maybe offering a little rotation in the opposite direction. Beautiful. And then go ahead and release the right leg long. Pull in the left knee in towards your heart. Now, if bringing the hands in front of the knee doesn't feel good for you, set it behind the thigh. Find whatever space works for you. Relax through the shoulders. As you're pulling the knee in, just gently lengthen the tailbone down. Maybe feel free to give your ankle a little twirl. Kind of working through that whole rotation, noticing any crunchy bits without any judgment. And judgment can be simply saying, oh, my body feels tight today. Let's let go of even those words. Go ahead and if you'd like, reverse the direction. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, go ahead and we're going to pull the right knee in towards the chest, maybe setting both hands in front of the knees gently or behind the thighs as we find our knees to chest. Find a little length through the tailbone, pull the knees in towards the heart, relax the shoulders. Perhaps go ahead and rock your body side to side, just massaging the low back, the spine, the back of the shoulders, the back of the head. Coming to this with really this compassionate, gentle movement. Reminding ourselves that how we do anything is how we do everything. So if this is feeling rushed, impatient, or drifting into what's coming next, try to slow that down. Try to just be here in the moment, noticing the spreading of the low backs, feeling into the body without worrying of what's to come or what was. And just being here with this, in this one moment, 
maybe we begin to stir the pot by rotating the knees in a circular motion, spreading the low back down into the floor. Maybe not, maybe you continue with your rocking side to side. Perhaps if you'd like, we'll perhaps re revert the direction of the circle in the opposite way, maybe noticing the body moving in a different direction, just feeling into the hips, feeling into the body. Continuing to nourish the breath. Maybe we invite our Ujjayi breath, our victorious breath today. Our breath in through the nose and out through the nose with that slight constriction of the throat. That ocean sound that might emanate from the back of the throat. And then when you're ready, we'll come back, let our feet drift down to the floor. Reset your sacrum if you kind of drifted off to the outer edge of your mat. And we're gonna extend our arms out to a strong T, opening up the heart space, pressing gently into the heels of the feet and lifting the sacrum enough off the floor that you can then shift it over to the left side pulling the knees in towards center and drifting the knees over towards the right side. Now here, if you have a yoga block, your knees don't quite connect, that's okay. If your feet kind of drift and feel like they're hovering over the floor and it doesn't feel settled for you, take a yoga block and set it underneath your bottom knee. I want you to come to this with a lot of just care and softness in the movement, opening up the chest twisting through the upper thoracic spine in a place that feels really settled and comfortable. Maybe even notice the tailbone. If it's hiking up, try to draw the tailbone down and invite a little bit more space into the thoracic spine. If you'd like to, you're absolutely welcome to twist the gaze towards the opposite direction if that feels appropriate for your neck. Keep your heart space open and expansive. Your eyes are closed. Keep the eyes soft behind the eyelids. If your eyes are open, keep the gaze soft towards the sky. Continue to breathe. When you're ready, go ahead and pull up through that top leg. Meet the bottom leg to meet the top leg. Reset yourself back towards center. And then go ahead and lift that sacrum just a little bit off the floor and then over to the right. And we'll twist in that opposite direction towards the left. Again, if you're finding your knees not quite connecting, that's okay. If your legs are kind of hovering, take a block and set it underneath the bottom leg. I want you to come to this with a lot of just softness. Maybe you turn your gaze in the opposite direction if that feels good for your neck. Let your shoulders relax. If you're holding on to tension in the shoulders, let them drift down towards the ground. In this very moment, at this very time, you need not do anything more than you're doing right now. And then when you're ready, let's pull up through that top leg, lift the bottom leg, and reset back at the center. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring our knees into chest one more time. Just pulling the knees in towards our heart, lengthening out the tailbone, maybe even shimmying the tailbone a little bit down towards the base of the mat. And then when you're ready, set your feet down and we're gonna roll on towards our right side and we're gonna prepare to come into tabletop. So when you're ready, just take your time here. 
for taking care of our knees today. Perhaps you've got a little something to place underneath the knees. Maybe you have a blanket, maybe you have a pillow, maybe you fold your mat up just a little so it's a little softer, especially if you've got a hard surface that you're on. With the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tops of the feet resting down to the floor, let us find our tabletop position. Head stacks up on the rest of the spine. Let's go ahead and we're going to find some cat cows. Inhale, tilt the pelvis down towards the earth. Let the tummy rest down. Open up the heart space. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the back of the room. Let the head drift down. Gaze towards the knees. Press the hands into the floor. Separate the shoulder blades. Breathe in fully to the belly. Let the tailbone, tail feathers lift up. Exhale, pull the belly in. Engage a little bit through the inner thighs and through the glutes. Let the low back spread. And I want you to bring some awareness to this six-point connection that you have to the earth right now. You've got your hands connected, grounded into the earth, your knees. Maybe you're skimming the front of your shins down to, shins down to the floor. Maybe just the tops of the feet are connecting down towards the floor. And as you move through your cat-cow, feel into the hands, the knees, the feet. Feel the texture of your mat. Feel the grounding of the earth. The spreading of your roots from the six-point connection down into the earth, almost as if you've got this unmovable root that allows the rest of your body to move, but you stay grounded. You're unshakable in windy weather. Breathing in and out with your breath, releasing the body. And let's do a couple more cat cows. When you're ready, go ahead and make your way back into your tabletop position. Bring the knees wide, press the toes together, press back into our child's pose. Maybe we find an extended child's pose if it feels right for your body. Maybe not. Maybe we draw the knee elbows in a little bit closer to center. Now, as we take this brief moment of rest here, I want you just to take a moment to notice your breath. Notice your thoughts. Can you invite this sense of rest without trying to move into the mind? Maybe thinking just of this moment rather than thinking about what's to come. Releasing the body of any tension. Maybe if your forehead doesn't quite connect down to the ground, we stack the hands underneath the forehead to make this feel comfortable. Maybe you simply notice the breath coming down to the back of the throat, down to the back of the spine, down to the low back, and you expand through the ribs. And then you let the ribs fall as you exhale. Beautiful. Now on your next inhale, we're gonna roll forward, finding our tabletop position. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and kickstand our right leg out and extend our left leg. And we're just going to briefly hang out in a supported side plank here just to work a little bit of the core, still grounding into the hands, the knees, and the feet. Maybe extending the arm out if that feels good for you. Maybe resting the hand to your hip. Now, as I take my right hand down, I'm going to stack my body like a well-built house. Wrists, elbows, shoulders. Lengthening, softening the neck, maybe turning the gaze down to the floor if that feels better, or turning the gaze forward. Now, from here, using that left side of the body, the obliques, we're going to pull ourselves up. You can absolutely use your bottom hand to lift yourself up into a kneeling position as we prepare to go into gate pose. Now, from here, knee is underneath our hips, body is nice and tall, left hand is going to rest down to the left side of the body. 
And then as we're ready, we'll take that right arm long and just gently come into a lateral bend here, reaching with that right arm up overhead, expanding through the right side of the body, feeling that opening through the ribs. If this feels too much, set your hand at your hip, finding whatever version feels right for you. And I want you to think of this less as stretching the body. I want you to think of it as lengthening your body. Finding that opportunity to expand, lengthen. Beautiful. When you're ready, let's go ahead and swim that right arm all the way down to the floor. We're going to transition through a couple of cat cows. Bring the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. And go ahead and find a few cat cows. Reset here. Breathe in. Lift the sternum. Exhale. Breathe out. Press the hands into the floor. Let the head drift. Beautiful. Let's do one more. And this time, notice that breath. Maybe take an extra moment or two just to notice the feeling in the body. And when you're ready, reset back at center. And this time, we're going to walk our hands. We're going to come onto that left knee and extend out through the right. Finding that lift through the core, uh, finding our side plank here, sorry. Left hand stacks underneath the left elbow and shoulder. Right arm may extend out to the sky, may extend out to the hip, whatever feels right for your body. And really inviting that one long line here. And we're working really beautifully through the core here. So keeping that nice gentle core engagement Soften the neck, maybe turn the gaze down. The neck can feel a little bit strained here. So try to soften into this space. And then taking that top arm, we're going to pull ourselves up. Use the core, maybe keeping that leg nice and extended. And inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, gently come into that lateral flexion. Opening, just feeling those ribs the lungs, all the muscles between the lungs, the intercostal muscles, breathe into the side body here. Let yourself just drift down. Again, if we're taking care of our shoulder, maybe we're setting our hands at our hip. Find that length. And again, without force, just soft, just gentle. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and reset back in through center. Let's do a couple of cat cows. Knees underneath hips, tops of the feet un resting on the floor, hands underneath shoulders. Just breathe in. Open up. See if you've got a little bit more range. Exhale. Maybe you're just focusing on your breathing. Maybe you're focusing on your exhale and releasing. Beautiful. One more. Whenever you're ready, let's make our way right back into our tabletop position. Now, if you have yoga blocks, let's go ahead and set our yoga blocks to the side, stacking them on one on top on, to the side of another. So just on either side. And we're going to take our left foot forward and we're going to find a kneeling lunge here. And as you know, if you've practiced with me before, we come to our hip openers with a lot of softness. So we're just going to gently lean into it, lifting tall through the upper body. Now, for some, this can feel really intense. So I want you to come into it like water melting through earth. Just allow your body to ease down tall through the body. The blocks, if you have them, are just there to help you lift through the spine. So I don't want you weighing into it too much. Maybe you find just the tips of your fingers resting so you can lift tall. If you don't have yoga blocks, feel free to just rest your hands at your knees if that feels okay. Beautiful. 
From here, we're going to press into that left leg, lengthen out the leg, flex into the toes. So bring the toes towards center, giving the hamstrings a little tickle. We can feel that pretty, pretty quickly. Again, going into it with just that ease, lengthening the leg, pressing a little bit into the heel. And then go ahead and just bring ourselves forward one more time, finding a bit of a hip opener here, trying to release into that right hip, softening the gaze forward, don't tension through the shoulders or the jaw. And then go ahead and press in one more time into that heel, lengthen out, back is long, flex into the toes, toes towards the top, feel the back of the leg, just giving you that feedback. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead. We'll come forward and we're going to shift that left foot back and we'll bring our right foot forward. Stacking the knee on top of the ankle, finding our kneeling lunge. And I like to kind of take that back leg just a little bit further back so I give myself some room. And let yourself just ease into this space, opening up the hips. The hips are a place that hold a lot of tension. So if we are stressed and we don't have a means of letting it go, just the nature of where the psoas is with regards to our nervous system and the diaphragm and all the bits that go around in that area. When we're stressed and we don't let it go, it holds itself there. So we want to approach our hips with a lot of gentleness and kindness especially if we've been we've been working really hard and busy and stressed just take this opportunity to ease yourself into this no expectation just softness and then go ahead and extend that front leg shift your hips back back as long toes come in heels into the ground Beautiful. Let's do one more. Just find that hip opener. <sighs> Easing down. Maybe notice if your shoulders are tensioning. Try to soften that space. Come to this with that sense of calm and ease. And press back one more time. Shift your hips, toes towards center. Beautiful. Let's make our way forward. And we're going to curl our left toes and we're going to lift our knee. We're going to shift that left foot all the way forward. Take our blocks with us today and let's find our forward fold. Maybe feet are a little wider than hip distance apart. Maybe your hands rest at the blocks. You don't need to use them. You can set your hands down towards the floor. And just finding our forward fold here. So releasing the low back, releasing the neck. Feel free to go ahead and shake your head no. And I want you to imagine that you're also shaking out any thoughts that are not serving you. So let the top of the crown of the head open up and release whatever it is you need to let go. And remind yourself that the earth is like a sponge. It takes everything we don't need and it soaks it up for us. Now I'd like you to shake your head yes. Release the neck. Release the low back. Beautiful. And then from here, let the crown of the head just drift down. And let's go ahead and grab hold of our opposite elbows here, giving ourselves a gentle hug. And from here, if you'd like to, rock your body side to side. And just gently finding that gentle movement from side to side, releasing the low back. And just allowing the back of the legs to... Get a little bit of a stretch here. Remember, you can always keep your knees bent. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly make our way and slow our pendulum down and make our way back in towards center. 
Release the hands down. We're going to bend into the knees. Set both hands on the top of the thighs and round and through the spine. One vertebrae at a time as we lengthen out the legs and roll ourselves slowly up towards the top of our mat. Spread the hands up above. Taking an inhale in. Exhale, meet with our hands at our heart center. Finding samastitihi. And let's take a moment here to remind ourselves of our intention, of our mantra, of our string of words, or our single word, whatever it is you set for yourself at the beginning of your practice today. From here, let's take a deep breath in, extend the arms all the way tall, grabbing hold of your right wrist and gently guiding the right wrist over to the left. Stay tall through the spine. Inhale through center, left wrist over to the right. Find that length. Inhale through center, reach tall. Exhale, lead with your heart, forward fold, down to the floor. Inhale, come into your half arch, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, let go down towards the earth. Inhale, bend into the knees, sweep the arms up, press the feet into the floor, reaching tall through the spine. Now I'd like you to shift your weight into your heels, coming into your chair pose. Maybe we're taking care of our shoulders today, maybe resting our hands at our heart center, maybe our arms are reaching forward, maybe they're reaching tall. Pull in through the core, shift back into the heels. Inhale, press into the floor with the legs, extend the body long. Exhale, swan dive down, come down to a forward fold. Inhale, come into your half arch, lengthen out the spine, lead with the heart forward. Exhale, release the heart down to the earth. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms tall, reaching tall with the spine, press the feet into the floor, grow a little longer. Exhale, weight into the heels, find your chair. Soften the shoulders if they're creeping up towards your ears. I want you to soften into the space, pull into the belly, nice and long. Inhale, press into the feet, extend the body long. Exhale, we're going to add on to our, our half sun salutation, forward fold. Inhale, come into your half arch. Exhale, down towards the floor. Inhale, take the right foot back, and we're going to come into a low lunge. So bringing that right foot back with our nice long back here. From here, we're going to set our right knee down towards the floor. Top of the foot rests on the floor. Inhale, using our core, we're going to reach our arms up towards the sky. Exhale, swim the arms all the way back down, framing that left foot. Rest the right hand to the floor. Inhale, twist towards the left. Exhale, release the left hand down to the floor. Curl the right toes under, lift the knee off the floor. Set the right foot forward, come into your forward fold. Take a moment here. Inhale, come into your half arch. Lengthen the spine, lead with the heart. Exhale, release down. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way to tall. Reaching tall, press the feet into the floor. Exhale, weigh into your heels, come into your chair. Knees behind toes, arms outstretched or at your heart, whatever feels right for your body. Inhale, extend the legs, reach the arms tall. Exhale, swan dive it down, lead with your heart, forward fold. Let your head release a little bit more. Notice the back of the legs. Just take a moment here of pause. Inhale, come into your half arch. Exhale down. Inhale, take your left leg back this time, finding our low lunge. And take your time to get there. There's no rush. Once you're there, go ahead and set that left knee down, making sure your front knee is stacked on top of your ankle. Inhale, lifting up the arms, reaching tall. Nice and long through the spine. Open up the hip. Exhale, release. Hands down towards the floor, framing the right foot. Left hand grounds into the earth. Inhale, twist towards the right. Open your heart. Pull up through your belly. Lengthen the spine. Gaze could be up. Gaze could be down. On your exhale, release down. Curl the left toes under. Find that little lift in the knee here. And then from here, we're going to take that left foot forward. Find our forward fold. 
Maybe feet are wider than hip distance just to take care of our backs. Inhale, bend and find our half, half arch, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, down towards the floor. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way tall, reaching towards the sun. Shift your weight into your heels, find your chair. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen the body. Exhale, we're gonna add on a little bit more forward fold. Notice what's happening as we move into these familiar movements. Find your half arch. Exhale, release. Are you starting to think about what's coming? Take that right foot back. Now this time we're gonna set that right knee down. Set the top of the foot, inhale, reach up. Exhale, release down. Right hand to the floor, inhale, twist. Exhale, release. Inhale, curl the right toes under. Lift the right knee. We're going to shift that back foot to a warrior one stance. 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, warrior one. Hip bones facing forward. Lean in gently into that front knee. Stacking up. Arms can be outstretched. Arms can be at the hips here or at your heart center. Inhale, adjust the back foot, warrior two. So the toes are going to come out. The front knee is going to stack. Arms are going to outstretch. Gaze is forward. Relax the shoulders here. Take a moment just to settle in. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, palm opens. Find your reverse warrior. Feel that opening of the ribs. We've got a lot of side bends today. So feel that expansiveness through the ribs, that opportunity to breathe even deeper into the ribs. Beautiful. Inhale, take the left arm down to the left knee. Right arm extends, extended side angle, reaching long side body. Feel in. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn that right arm down towards the ground, framing the front foot, curling the back toes and pivoting it onto the ball of the foot. Take the right foot forward, forward fold. Let the body just rest down towards the floor. Inhale, come into your half arch. Lengthen the spine, lead with the heart. Ground of the head reaches in one direction, the tailbone the other. Exhale down. Inhale, bend into the knee, sweep the arms up all the way tall. Coming into your chair, shift your weight back, reach back into the heels, bend into the knees, curl the toe, tailbone slightly under. If you feel like you're arching, pull the belly in and tuck the tail nice and long through the spine, energize through the back of the body. Inhale, lengthen out, reach tall, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold. Release the crown. Inhale, come into your half arch. Exhale, let go. This time, inhale, take your left foot back. Find your low lunge. Find that, is, that space here. Just take a moment. Then go ahead, set that left knee down. Top of the foot rests. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way tall. Exhale, release down. Set the left hand to the floor. Inhale, up and rotate towards the right. Exhale, release it down. Curl the right, the left toes under, lift the knees. We're going to adjust that back foot, warrior one. Ground into the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Now just take a moment here. Is this feeling rushed? Can you just settle into the pose and take a moment to notice what's happening here? Don't worry about what's coming up next. Just come to it with that sense of awareness and presence. Warrior two, adjust the back foot. Arms outstretched, shoulders roll back. Open up into the heart space. Find that laser focus ahead of you. Find that drishti point, that focal point. Inhale, shift forward, palm open, reverse warrior. Open up the ribs, open up the heart. Soften the gaze. Inhale, take that right arm all the way to the right leg, extended side angle, reach tall. What are you thinking about right now? 
can you just be in this moment be in this space you don't need you need not be anywhere but here take that left hand down to the floor pivot the back foot onto the ball rest into that right foot as you pull the left foot forward forward fold inhale come into your half arch exhale release down inhale bend the knees sweep the arms big deep breath exhale shift the weight into the heels come into your chair beautiful inhale lengthen the body we're going to add on with some balance work exhale lead forward forward fold inhale come into your half arch exhale release down can you just flow with one breath one movement right foot back low lunge exhale right knee down to the floor take a moment of pause here inhale take the arms back exhale lift opening up exhale release the hands down right hand to the floor inhale twist towards the left open up exhale back down curl the right toe under lift the knee adjust the back foot warrior one position heels are aligned inhale back exhale lift beautiful settle into the front foot open up through the heart inhale adjust the back foot warrior two arms down shoulders away from the ears gaze forward inhale lean in exhale swift the arms all the way back palm towards the back of the room beautiful inhale windmill that left arm to the left knee exhale reach that right arm all the way over find that extended side angle now round into that right shoulder go ahead and place that right hand down to the floor pivot that left right foot we're going to weigh into our left foot and we're going to take a block if we can and set it right in front maybe about a foot or so in front of our left foot and we're going to shift forward maybe resting the hand and coming into our warrior three now if you'd like to and it's within the scope of your practice you're absolutely welcome to release the hands either forward behind you or into a t-shape or rest the hands on the block reach that back leg hips face the ground lengthen you can bend that left knee beautiful release that right foot forward find your forward fold release down towards the earth inhale come into your half arch lead with the heart exhale let it go inhale bend the knees sweep the arms up nice and tall shift your weight into your heels come into your chair settle in try to find a little bit of softness in the body beautiful inhale lengthen the body we're going to do that all on the other side exhale lead with the heart forward fold down towards the earth let the crown of the head rest notice how it feels here you've been here a lot today inhale each time we approach it differently exhale release beautiful take the left foot back find your low lunge take your time getting there set your left knee down to the floor top of the foot rest ground into the feet inhale sweep the arms up coming into our kneeling lunge reach tall exhale ground down with the hands down to the floor set the left hand to the floor inhale twist towards the right exhale release the right hand framing the right foot curl the left toes under lift the knees adjust the back foot warrior one positioning so that 45 degree angle arms reach out behind us exhale sweep the arms forward coming into warrior one release the shoulders <sighs> take a moment here just to settle yourself in hip bones facing forward ground into the front leg inhale adjust the arms warrior two arms outstretched gazes forward drop the shoulders 
Inhale, take a little dip forward, palm open, sweep the arm all the way up and over. Open up the front body. Find your reverse warrior. Inhale, windmill that right arm to the right knee. Exhale, side angle. Take a breath here. Beautiful. Pivot that left arm down. Pivot the left foot onto the ball. We're going to move into warrior three. Taking some weight into that right leg. Shift it forward. Hands can rest on a yoga block. Lift up. And you don't have to lift up to parallel. Remember, this is your practice. Maybe we're doing a few inches off the floor. Maybe a foot. Maybe two feet. Maybe it's parallel. It doesn't matter. Do what feels right in your body. Maybe you release your hands, maybe you don't. Just feel into this moment, feel into what feels right for you. One side might feel one way and the other side might feel totally different. Don't analyze it, don't judge it. Just be with it. Beautiful, release the hands down, set the left foot down to the floor. Forward fold, release. Beautiful. Inhale, come into your half arch. Exhale, release down to the floor. Inhale, bend the knees. Sweep the arms. Find our last chair for today. Shift your hips back. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms, lengthen the body. Exhale, swan dive it all the way down. Forward fold. Take your right foot back and then your left. And let's just briefly transition here through a downward dog. Feet wide, open up the shoulders, lift the hips, soften into the hands, soften into the heart. And then when you're ready, go ahead and shift the knees down to the floor, knees wide, big toes together, press back, child's pose. Take a moment here just to settle your breath into the back of the body and into the shoulders. Release the hips. Breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. Now from here, let's walk our hands towards the left side of our mat, keeping our hips kind of stuck in space. Right arm is going to reach maybe an inch or so forward of the left. As you drift that right hip down towards your right heel, open up. You can feel that opening through the shoulder. Try to imagine you're lengthening your body with ease, not force. Try not to change anything about what you're doing right now. Just focus on your breath. Beautiful. Let's walk our hands towards center. Other to move to the other side. And this time, maybe taking that left hand a little forward of the right, drifting down into the hip, releasing the shoulders, releasing the back. Beautiful. Let's make our way back in towards center. And let's just take a couple of breaths here, just in child's pose. Remember, your arms don't need to be extended. If that feels like it's too much for today, maybe bring the elbows in towards center. Honoring what feels right for you. Beautiful. When you're ready, let's go ahead and bring ourselves into tabletop. And through tabletop, we're going to move to our backs. So move the legs over to the right side, and we're going to slowly make our way down to the floor here. Oh, beautiful, everyone. We're going to need our yoga blocks. You're going to need whatever you need also for your Shavasana. So if you have a blanket or a pillow, please go ahead and grab it. We're not gonna use the straps today, I'm sorry. We are not gonna have enough time. 
So let's go ahead and we're going to take our sacrum and we're going to lift it enough so that we can get our yoga block underneath. And maybe if you're using a bolster for candlestick, please feel free to do so. So for our inversion, we're going to move into candlestick. So set your sacrum right on top of the bolster or the yoga block or the bolster in a comfortable way. And then we'll pull our knees in towards center and then lift the legs up towards the sky. Now, if it is within the scope of your practice to move into plow or supported shoulder stand and you'd like to do that, I encourage you to explore those options now. If you need something a little bit more settling and quiet, candlestick is a beautiful inversion. For those of us who have maybe an access to a wall, legs up the wall is also beautiful. It's taking a few nice big breaths here. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, go ahead and bend into your knees, set your feet down to the floor. Lift your sacrum enough so that you can move the block over. And let's move right into our Shavasana. So extend the legs, find whatever position works for you. And we're going to take about three or so minutes here. So just allow your body to completely rest in this space. Let your body feel heavy. Maybe we'll start to invite some movement into the fingers and the toes. Just really gently here. Mm. 
Maybe start to bring some awareness to the breath. Maybe you'd like to roll onto your favorite side. Just take a moment of pause here. Just a reminder. There's that beautiful transition from where we were to where we're going. And the reminder of how we feel now is how we can take ourselves off the mat, handling different situations with a sense of calm and peace, a sense of awareness. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press your hand into the floor and start to gently make your way into Sukhasana. And maybe just hold your eyes closed for just this brief moment as we close our practice today. Just harvesting this moment just a little longer. Meeting with our hands at heart center. It's a gesture of union, of being one. And with a gentle bow of our head towards our hands in honor of the light that shines within us all. May your heart always stay warm. May your smile always stay broad. And may the light that shines in me honor and see the light that shines in you. Namaste. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As always, it's such an honor to practice with you. Um, I hope that you can tear my hearts. <laughs> it's the little things, right? It's the little things. <laughs> so, so as always, I hope you can take what you need off the mat with you for the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again this week <laughs> from my heart to yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Namaste.